So we had this huge discussion in Discord recently about weapons in Stranded Deep, their damage or lack of damage, the cost to craft them, and their usefulness. This sent me down Alice's rabbit hole, and I quickly realized that there was a whole slew of assumptions I had taken as fact and had never actually tested out myself. I decided to count how many spears or arrows it would take to kill something. I mean, because there are no damage numbers in Stranded Deep. And because I had the exact same hunting level on PC that I did on console, I could measure them both effectively. And I'm willing to bet there are a few of you watching right now that may just be surprised at what I found. So we managed to kill him with two spear gun arrows left. Now, just to show you guys, my hunting level is at five, just barely starting to get into six. Now we're on console and we'll go ahead and look at my inventory here. Once again, I got eight refined spears. I got 10 spear gun arrows and I got 10 crude spears. So if we go ahead and pull up my stats here, you can actually see my hunting skill is very similar to PCs, very, very close. So we're gonna go ahead and start hunting. Once again, we're gonna start with spear gun ammo then we're gonna go to crude spears then we're gonna go to refined spears. Assuming that everything that we've learned so far is true and there is no damage difference between console and PC, we're going to go ahead and test out the bow. Now, for this, we can only do it on land because obviously you can't use a bow underwater. Believe me, I've tried. We have eight crude spears and I have nine arrows. Now, assuming I hit all my shots, I shouldn't need all those because I would certainly hope that at least the bow could do as much damage. So we're gonna find a boar and we're gonna kill the boar. So we killed the exact same boar as we did with the crude spears and with the crude spears it took six crude spears and most of them were headshots. Now most of these are body butt shots and as you can see one, two, three, four, five, and six. So the bow 
and the crude spear did exactly the same amount of damage and we already know that the crude spear does the same damage as the spear gun there it is effectively no difference in damage between pc and console in fact the bow spear gun and crude spear all have the exact same damage and the only weapon that does more is the refined spear at double the damage of all the others the crude spear only needs a stick to craft while the bow needs stick and lashing to craft and you have to craft arrows to replace the ones that you lose or break the spear gun needs leather sticks duct tape and air tank to craft and you have to make the spear gun arrows as well and as a side note here the spear gun arrows and the bow arrows are not interchangeable so you can't use one with the other the refined spear can be crafted using a crude spear leather and a stone tool and you can craft it from that old crude spear you've had laying around on your beach for the last 30 in-game days and as far as what weapon is best or more importantly which is best for you to use I'm gonna leave that up to you guys, but myself personally, I will stick with the spear. I can craft it early game using practically no resources, and later on I can upgrade it to the highest damage output in the game using nothing less than a stone tool and a piece of leather. And if you enjoyed this guide and you would like me to do more like this in the future, then let me know by hitting that like button. And check out my latest 20 tips and tricks for Stranded Deep updated for 2021, and I'll see you in the next.